Hello, everybody. I'm back. Oh, my God. I really missed my baby. I missed my my podcast. I haven't recorded in a little while because I've been working on a lot of behind the scenes stuff for you guys. So thank you for watching the clips that I've been posting because I have not been able to record. So thank you. But now I'm back. Now I'm back and I'm here full throttle for you guys uh, with some awesome stories because you guys know that my life is a soap opera. And I don't know how, but hey, it was meant to happen this way so that I can entertain you guys. So what's been new for me? Um, I don't know, maybe some coffee-induced anxiety and panic attacks. This happened a couple weeks ago, okay? Get ready. I have not had panic attacks in years, right? I used to have panic attacks all the time until I learned mindfulness and meditation and I learned to incorporate that, but... Really, it was after I created my own formula because I have a lot of energy and so I couldn't just sit still for 20 minutes and uh, I learned to incorporate the arts and music into mindfulness and meditation. If you guys are familiar with my website and my services and what I do, you guys will see that it's the 3M formula. Uh, you guys can check it out on my website, brendasaraizuniga.com. I talk about it and yeah, so coffee-induced anxiety is real oh my god it is so real i went to mount shasta for a few days to relax and when i came back my one of my best friends goes hey i have to leave out of town can you watch my dog i was like yeah of course because i would do anything for my loved ones but i didn't think about oh i have a ton of work to catch up on (laughs) and uh i have to record podcast episodes right But I was like, it's okay, it's fine. I'll like, you know, I'll make time. But for some reason, I began to experience a sense of uneasiness for a couple days. And I was like, this is weird. This is an all new feeling I haven't had in gosh knows how long. And then one day I decided to do something I haven't done in a long time, which is drink coffee. And I I don't drink coffee, I'm a tea addict. I'm a black tea addict. And some people may say, well, isn't that the same thing? It's caffeine, actually, coffee hits me differently than tea so anyways i decide to get a latte a latte followed by some coffee guys let me tell you that i i don't think i've ever experienced anything like this i remember i was walking her dog and it hit me this like fear hit me I'm like, what? And my entire body started to shake. And I was like, oh man, I gotta go home. Like I gotta, I just, let me let me see what's up. So I stopped walking her dog, I drive home and I'm so uneasy driving home. And then I start having a panic attack. I'm thinking my entire world is coming to an end. I'm thinking I'm about to die. I, I, I can't even hold onto the steering wheel, right? Thank God I was just a few blocks away from home. So, I I run upstairs and I immediately start playing the piano because playing piano really mellows me out. It, it, I mean, it energizes me, but it, it calms me in, in a way, if that makes sense. It's very soothing. Okay. Energizes me, but soothes me. See, I should have remembered the energizer part because as soon as I started banging on that piano, my energy went up plus the panic attack I was already going through. Oh my gosh. Guys, I thought I was going through a psychosis. I went to go start a bath and I put essential oils. I'm literally dumping the whole bottle in there. I'm just like, I need to relax. And as soon as I get inside the tub, I saw all the walls came in on me and I was like, oh, f- this. So I run out of the bath. I grab my phone and I, I go on Chris's hotline and I'm like, guys, oh my God, please tell me that I'm not going through a psychosis. Tell me that I'm not going through a psychosis and that I'm not going to go into a psych ward and that I'm, I'm not going to go into the hospital and that I'm not going to be admitted and that like, I'm okay. Is this anxiety? Am I experiencing anxiety or is this psychosis? And they're like, we don't know. And I kept saying that word over and over again. And I was like, listen, I'm not crazy. Please tell me I'm not crazy. And they're like, you're not crazy. I'm like, okay, because I'm a mindfulness coach. I'm a comedian. Um, I have a podcast, mental health podcast. I'm a a keynote speaker. I definitely sound crazy right now to them. If I didn't sound crazy to them before, (laughs) do I sound crazy now? (laughs) So I was like, oh, man, Uh, not not the time, Brendan. (laughs) So... 
So they're all like, uh-huh. And so they go, have you had anything differently today? Did you eat anything? Did you drink anything that you don't normally eat or drink? I said, yes, coffee. I had a lot of coffee. And they go, okay, so then that's definitely what it is. You're having a coffee-induced panic attack. I'm like, F coffee? Who the hell drinks this? So they go, okay, is there anything you can drink around you right now? I said, yes, almond milk. So I... <laughs> I grab the almond milk out of my, my fridge. I open it and I just start pouring it. And there's a waterfall of almond milk all over me. There's almond milk all over my kitchen floor. I'm literally a caveman woman. Just Wah! give me the almond milk. <laughs> and then they go, do you have anything to eat around you? I said, yes, I have veggie booties. The veggie booties were these puffs these like veggie puffs i just start shoving them in my mouth there's now veggie booties all over the floor guys so i'm like i'm gonna get back in the bath can you guys stay on the line with me and they go yeah so as a mindfulness coach can we please do a grounding technique together and they're like of course so they go name five things you see and i go okay uh my loofah my shampoo the reason guys don't date me uh just kidding i don't know what else i named I named five things. And then they go, okay, can you name four things you can smell? I said, sure. The lavender oil, uh, my hair, you know, I start name. And at the end of the grounding technique, like, I felt so much better. But I was still going through anxiety. I was still shaking. I felt so much empathy for the former me, the Brenda who would always get these panic attacks. But I forgot what that felt like. I forgot that this is what... I used to experience mind you not to the severity because th this was way more intense than the former panic attacks I used to get but still there's panic attacks so I remember after the the grounding technique I was like can we please do another one please please and they go yes so they go okay can you name something purple around you and I was like sure I was like ah and my loofah's purple so I was like my, my purple loofah they go great can you name something red I said, sure, my red tiles. So then now they started to practice colors on me. That's another grounding technique that I use with my clients. And I'm like, thank you guys. And I said, this is, this is definitely what I do. It's what I practice. Uh, it's what's helped me with my panic attacks. And I'm just so happy that we can do it together because this really does work. Afterwards, you know, they asked me, how are you doing? I said, I feel a lot better, but I'm still not 100%. I said, I legit can't stop my body right now. Like, it is shaking. Then they go, okay, what else can you do? I said, you know what? I do breathing techniques. So let's practice a breathing technique, please. And they go, yeah, of course. So I take 10 deep breaths in slowly through my nose, out through the mouth, and it's all belly breathing. This helps me a ton. I lay down on my bed. I put a meditation video on and it was actually one of my meditation videos that I'm working on and I started to calm down with the breathing techniques I was doing and mind you I did this breathing technique maybe for about an hour and for me when I was going through that panic attack I really thought that everything around me was not real I thought that I wasn't real I thought that everything was crumbling around me but what helped me was calling that crisis hotline was doing those grounding techniques with them, uh, doing the breathing techniques afterwards and calling a friend. I want you guys to know whoever's watching this who experiences panic attacks and anxiety attacks that you're not alone, okay? You're not alone and there are techniques out there and strategies that help. These are the techniques that I use on my clients too and I used them on myself. So I practice what I preach. I'm not just out here you know, telling you guys all these like exercises to do. No, I actually incorporate them into my everyday life and they help me so much. I mean, my own techniques helps me out of that panic attack, which I just didn't think it was going to end, but it did. And so I hope that this provides you some sort of relief in knowing that you really are not alone. It does end, it does get better, and there are ways to treat anxiety and panic attacks. Man, what a night. I was like, now I gotta go walk the dog. <laughs> wow, well, let me tell you what happened tonight, Lana. Uh, it's the name of my baby niece. Well, she's my dog niece. And I was like, oh, you won't believe what just happened. She's like, I don't care, just walk me. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this coffee-induced anxiety story. 
Um, that's going to be it for the podcast today. Don't forget to check me out on my website, brendasaraizuniga.com. Also check me out on Instagram at gettingmentalpod. Brenda Sarai Zuniga Instagram as well. You guys, I have some goodies coming up for you. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my mailing list for all the exclusive new things that I have coming up for you guys that I've been working on behind the scenes. I'm so excited. And yeah. All right. I love you all so much. I'm checking out. Talk to you guys later.